Howdy y'all, it's me, your ninth favorite parasocial relationship around the wheel, and last time the yellow deck was not so mellow to us. Whether that's because we wasted our money foolishly or the jokers just didn't fall our way, who knows? Or maybe it's just because I'm bad at Baldra. But either way, we start again today with 10 extra dollars in our coffers, which can make quite the difference. Uh, nothing here especially worth skipping unless we don't spend a lot after this small blind. So let's go ahead and play the small blind at least. Uh, try to go for what looks like a decent chance at a flush draw. I'm taking it. I'm here for it. Let's see. Does that get us there? Not quite. But any old thing should get us over the top at this point. A pair of aces? Sure. That sounds good too. As long as it gets us over 300 chips and into this territory. So we have $21 to spend already, which is quite an advantage right out front. Death is good, but maybe once I have something more worth copying in my deck. Another consumable slot. We'll see, we'll see how the consumables fall. I don't want to take that just yet. Abstract Joker would be completely useless right now, though Ice Cream is pretty good in the early game. So I think that's worth taking and maybe skipping this blind to double our money. Uh, because we can definitely get out of the manacle with minus one hand size. Uh, oh, there's not a lot here, honestly. Though I'm going to attempt the flush grab and get it because the game just apparently feels like being that nice to me. A hundred chips is going to get us over the top near instantly so there we go all right and up to 47 dollars. so now we can start spending money on just about whatever the dang old heck we want spectral pack gives us two copies of a card in our hand or destroy one random card to create four enhanced numbered cards so maybe an enhanced card deck will be quite worth it maybe if we can get a joker that leans into that or I could just take Wheel of Fortune right now. <laughs> hey, I've got the money to blow in the early game. Why not? Um, we could start leaning into two pair. Um, kind of easy to do. I think I'll take it. That's a... If you can get a build rolling around that early, that's pretty decent. And plus 50 chips for a pair. So any kind of pair is looking pretty good at this point. One pair good. Two pairs better. Maybe a reroll to kind of keep the money train flowing, I will take an egg also. So yeah, that's what we, oh, and a negative joker also. Don't mind if I do, negative and foil. Diamond cards are debuffed. I think we can do a lot with what we have currently, actually. The ice cream is still, the ice cream is still very much in play. Um, let's get rid of, let's get rid of low stuff. See if we can hit a big pair or even perhaps just a flush. A flush might be worth a decent amount of chips even at this early stage. Well, it kind of gets us there, but also not really. Um, let's go for high pairs if we can. Here we go. Here we go. Indeedy. Yes, indeedy, sweetie. There we go. All right. I think we've skipped every blind so far that wasn't a boss blind. So this, this one could move pretty quick. Okay. Okay. A negative slot giving us plus one discard each round. And here we go. Plus three molt for any booster pack that gets skipped. Okay. All right. Uh, it is not. Okay. This is the point. Oh, yeah. So this is the negative one. That's fine. We'll put it back here. Uh, and this is the foil one that we get. I always love it when they apply an effect to red card. That's where it really stands out. Uh, if you ever happen to see a polychrome red card, that also looks pretty sharp. But um, I'm going to go ahead and look at what the Jumbo Buffoon Pack has first, because I bet it has something probably a little more fun. Okay, if we're leaning heavily into pairs, Card Sharp is going to be fabulous. Uh, because if we play a lot of pairs per round, I'm sorry, red card, I think I'm going to have to skip you. Um, gains three dollars sell value at the end of a round. Well, I could sell this for five dollars and make a five dollar profit. Quite honestly, I mean, I'm not exactly ripping through money, so I I feel fine about it. I feel fine about taking this. Uh, where should we put a molt? 
probably okay it's 50 chips okay times molts needs to go at the end that's the so we just open this and we say we don't want any of this we're gonna start adding molts to the red card okay this is gonna be the first one where we play actual blinds that are not boss blinds so looks like we have a good flush ahead of us i'm only gonna discard a couple hey two pair right there and that leaves us everything we need for our flush excellente that's probably going to be pretty hot. Yes. Fire indeed hot. The Professi will help. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, we might want to skip red card immediately. Well, plus 80 chips, but a times three and a times three. We can make this happen easily. Oh, I love Blackboard so much. Um, Let's see what what do i want to get rid of so we're leaning pretty heavily on pair and two pair this will never go anywhere because you know it's taken up a negative slot and it's given us a free discard it's just sitting there standing on business so let's go ahead what i feel like i definitely want to get rid of something almost almost certainly because if I want to go blackboard, I'm going to want to add a lot of spades and clubs to my deck. And that will mean not skipping things. So unfortunately, I'm going to sell the nice shiny red card that I just got. And we're going to go on a blackboard card sharp tear. This could go pretty well for us, depending on what we get. Oh, wow. Yeah, and you want to leave that in hand. That's perfect right there. Even more multiplier action. Uh, let's see. Converting things to hearts? No, 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 no. We want to start trying to take that stuff out of the deck if we can. Uh, but as long as we're here, let's go ahead and turn these into lucky cards. Because that will incentivize us to use them over spades and clubs. Buy it and use it. Here we go. A high priestess creates two planet cards. And yeah, we're getting all the conversions that we don't want. Uh, use this. We get a Neptune and a Pluto. High card's nice. But really, I want anything that is more focused on pairs. Tarot cards appearing in the shop. I'm also going to take that. Tarot cards can be useful for enhancing your deck, switching things around. I'm not going to re-roll just right now because I think we've got a pretty sweet setup going. So let's see, maybe we can even kind of lean on high card. So here we go, queen nine, nine, two, two, get everything out of hand that's not a spade or a club. That was a four, what the? Jess, you need, just like your dad used to tell you, Jess, you need to use your head for more than just a hat rack. That was just about the dumbest thing you could have done. But we're going to make up for it here. We're going to actually do the thing we meant to do, which is to play an actual two pair. Thank you very much. Congratulations. There we go. All right. Well, <laughs> card sharp would have really come in handy there had we actually played another two pair. We're not going for flushes today. That's often a thing I like to go for. But with pairs being part of our run, we definitely want to take a look at that. Okay. What's in the standard pack? Yet another thing we want to hold on to, should it come down to it. Fabulous. Okay. And is there anything... I have a lot of money. I'm going to open the Mega Buffoon Pack and see if there's anything that makes me reconsider the direction that I'm taking this. There is not. I don't need to go into debt. I have plenty of money. Let's go on to the Psychic. All right. Five cards no matter what. Uh, doesn't look like we're going to be leaving a lot of spades or clubs in hand. But I'm going to go ahead and play that two pair now. Just to give it, just to make card sharp take note of it. So there we go. Two pair right there. It's pretty hot to trot even just right out of the gate like that. But three, four, five, seven, nine. Uh, some chance of a straight draw occurring. Let's try... Let's get these out of hand and try to go for a straight, maybe? 9, 10, 10, jack. Okay, all right. Um, okay, I'm going to do some selective discarding. Okay, perfect. 
Uh, just take this. I don't care if I don't make the money off of it because I have everything I need in hand. And there we go. Times three times three. We're going way over what we need to. I have a good feeling about this. Okay. Plus one hand size. That'll help us get our pairs. So we definitely need that. I'm pretty much through at looking at jokers until ice cream becomes useless which is not too far from now to be honest uh, let's go ahead and buy and use this ah world fabulous that will get things turning into spades and we can use a fool to repeat that so mm, don't really want magician at the moment but i will see what we can use immediately with arcana and what will you put in our hand that we can turn into world how about these three fantastic okay and we can do it again well, in fact why don't we just turn everything we can into spades because the more spades and clubs we have in the deck the more just like the more we can play spades and leave them in hand and then let's go ahead and make uh bonus cards out of you there we go so yeah whether we play them or whether we leave them in hand we're getting something good out of them it's good to do one or the other so we can get a foil joker hey, the plant all face cards are debuffed not terrible because i'm not doing a pareidolia run but i think i feel saucy enough to see what foil joker comes up in the shop but just once I'm only feeling one saucy. So here we go. Already, this is paying huge dividends, looks like. Uh, king, king. We want to be sure to play the diamond one. King, king, eight, eight, nine. Run it. There we go. That should be pretty solid right up front. I would like some celestial packs to kind of enhance this. But right now, things are still looking pretty solid. I don't want to play the... I don't want to play the... Let's see. What do I want to get rid of here? Maybe this and this. Just my luck, it'll give me a 7. So let's do some kind of light discarding. Queen 6. No, that's exactly the kind of crap we don't want. 7-7. Seven, 7-7. Seven, 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 five, five, ace. There we go. Perfect. That leaves everything we want in hand, and even the steel card gets to stay. So, fabulous. Okay, yeah. I think I feel pretty good. The thing that's going to make me feel even better is getting enhanced jokers that actually play with my build. Thank you for nothing, stupid game. And we're going to need to start getting some celestial packs here pretty quickly. But if we can add... Here we go. Add a club. Well, no. Yeah, I'll go ahead and add the club. Because clubs and spades, even if they have little enhancements on them, no matter if, if it has an enhancement, it's great. Either I play it and I get, you know, bonus whatever, or I don't play it and blackboard pops off. So let's see. What's in the Arcana pack? A moon can turn a lot of things into clubs. That's exactly what we're looking for. Look at that. Three cards in hand, exactly, that can benefit from that. So I'm going to do it. We're going to make Blackboard work for us. Um, because the more we can get... I'm going to do... No, I don't really have the money for a reroll. So, face cards debuffed. We can't make... Well, we can make pairs, but like I don't know why we would want to. I'm going to leave this 10 here just in case. And get rid of the rest. Even if I'm playing Queens... As part of a two pair. Let's see. Well, no, I do need something. I want at least one pair in hand, even if it's going to get entirely debuffed. Here we go. So, queen, queen, rant, rant. Um, no, the one I want to play is the 10. So, and get the six out of hand. You really got to play around that blackboard if you're going to be serious about it. Uh, in my... As I see it. Okay, we can also play full houses. I didn't consider that because our hands just have to contain a pair or two pairs. So this is actually kind of nice if I can discard down and get just exactly what I want in hand like that. 
Although I already have played a two pair, so that's probably going to be more the move at this point. And better yet, none of it will get debuffed. So let's... I think we'll still get card sharp off of this, even though these are debuffed. They're not doing anything in hand, so I don't know if that... Let's see. Let's... Okay, yeah, all the molts still apply. They're not actually doing anything that can be scored, so there we have it. Plant is... The plant has withered. We could go down an ante, maybe see if we can get more celestial packs, but yes, we need celestial packs badly. Um, we've already leveled up pairs, so let's go two pair. Two pair is going to be very strong. Let's see. Plus 12 molt if it contains three of a kind. Swashbuckler is pretty weak for what we're going for right now. So let's go with Gold Seal Bonus Ace of Spades. No problem with adding another Ace to the deck. Ooh, more money. More money. That could be useful for rerolls. But really what I'm looking for is Celestial Packs. All face cards drawn face down with the mark. Uh, well, we can get $25 after the boss blind or double our money. $25 is going to be more than doubling it. So I'm going to skip this blind and see what we've got here. 10, 10, 3, 3, 4, ace. Okay. We've already got a clean pair. So go ahead and discard anything that's not going to work to that end. And here, here it is. Okay. All right. And I don't have to play anything extra because there's no there's no dross remaining that I have to get rid of. Fantastic. Okay, and then card sharp should pump that next one into the stratosphere, but that's a 10. I don't want that pair. Um a king. Okay, well we've got a flush. A flush might make things a little more well, it gets rid of both our pairs, so I don't necessarily want to do that. Let's go ahead and get rid of anything kind of low or not already part of a pair. So, yeah, okay, that worked out splendidly. King, king, two, two. Okay, there we go. And run it. Yeah, we want to we wanna consistently play pair and two pair wherever we can. And if we played one, we want to play it again to make card sharp pop off. Temperance, all right, more money. Fantastic. We're going to be getting that when we move into the boss blind. And hey, two celestial packs. All right, all right, all right. Uh, are you going to give us what we want? Yeah, at least one thing. There we go. It wasn't a mega, but it did have what we needed. And hey, another Uranus. Okay, two pair. Two pair is the way to go. And I think we can get there pretty easily. I'll start investing more in rerolls after... Well, that's funny. Uh, plus 30 chips... Hmm, it may be time to start thinking about a new Joker. Ice Cream is about to outlive its usefulness. So let's go ahead and get through this one. All face cards drawn face down. So as a suit, they are... Okay, those are different. These could be the same. I kind of want to bank on them being a pair at least. I'm going to try it but we may end up with high card here. Yeah, we ended up with high card. There were three different face cards. Okay, so no face cards in hand at all. That's actually kind of ideal. Uh, or it would be if... So we played high card. High card would actually... High card would actually get us kind of out of this jam because we've already played it. So it would pump up a lot. Well, maybe not 22,000 a lot. But, you know, okay, so hearts, rank, okay. They're done by ranks, so these are, I believe, both spades. So I don't think they're both, so I think we just want to go this. This is the first two pair we played, is it not? Oh, we broke our two, that's no good. Um, I, wanna, I want cards I can see. I want cards I can see in hand suit three rank three there's a good chance that that's a club but it could also be a heart i want cards that i know what i'm dealing with there we go okay so five five three 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 
no two pairs is the way to go full house is not it at this point unless we happen to to level it a little bit but here we go this i would think this would get us out of the round maybe yep there it is okay yeah ice cream ice cream is melted away to practically nothing ben and jerry declaring bankruptcy oh a foil misprint just in time although this would be very nice as well because we have to dump a lot of stuff from our hand playing cards can be purchased from the shop that's an absolutely yes right there that'll make rerolls big time worthwhile so plus 50 chips and molt every played card counts hmm that could end up being more useful overall in the long run than just pairs giving us plus 50 chips because if every card is scoring well i don't know i am playing a lot of pairs what i do know is this needs to go pretty much no matter what i'm feeling i'm feeling a little chaotic i'm not gonna lie that does give us a 50 chip advantage now this gives us the 50 chip advantage that a pair playing a pair would give us so that kind of negates that so if i play every card i think i can afford to get rid of sly jokers so we've got every card counting and scoring whatever you know at least 50 chips plus a multiplier sometimes that multiplier can be zero the kids don't need to know that though so i picked two cards obviously i picked this to start and then we want to leave this in hand so why not make a little money while we're at it let's go ahead then and grab okay world world is very the smart play world is the smart play but since when have we ever been once to do the smart play you didn't see it but i was hanging my head in shame there as i should be this is perfect okay this is why we grab the rerolls now if i can reduce the cost of them with a voucher that would be even better uh the arm oh shotzi the arm what's what levels are we at might be good to just play pairs or high card in that case maybe even full houses if we can swing it but ugh, we haven't gotten a lot of celestial packs to begin with so i might want to skip this to see if we can get some good freebies no no we want to re-roll the boss blind there we go that i can live with um still kind of scary since i generally have to play multiple hands to get what i to kind of get going in the direction i want but i also want to see what the freebies are man this is a this is a skip to my loo kind of day okay so we've got we've got at least why does this look like i have a pair oh because i do uh every card counts for the score so we want to discard this and get something mm, slightly better well actually we did get a slightly better pair out of it so the queen counts so we definitely want to do that Okay, that's looking pretty solid. Oh God. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna have to, okay, well, we've got rank here. So that tells us this is an ace. How about suit? Rank, suit. That should be an ace, right? If it's not moving, spades are the first one, I think. I think that's how they arrange it. It goes, I think spades, diamonds, I'm gonna go ahead and play this. Let's do it by rank so that this is at least a high card. But I don't think, oh, this is scary because I can't get blackboard. Okay, okay, good. We did get a two pair though. And that was pretty decent as well. Oh, nuts. Okay, this is, okay. Now we gotta discard things. It's only after the card is played that it's face down. So let's go ahead and make a couple of discards so that we at least know what we have. Okay. Beautiful. Fantastic. Fantabulous. Could not have gone any better, I don't think. That should get us out of the round. Ooh, the fish can be scary, but, you know, reading the blind explains the blind. I think I've already recommended Tolarian Community College once during this Balatro series, actually. So here we go. What do we have? If the poker hand is a straight flush, create a random spectral. No, we need celestial packs to get our pairs where we need to get them. 
this is nothing this is almost worse than nothing for what we're playing right now this is an insult to my face where is the spit joker spits in your face every time you open a celestial pack um i guess venus is the take here i would have probably done earth if it had been there and i hadn't had my other ideal choices look at that another thing we need to consider leaving in our hand this is this is rapidly becoming a steel game um i don't think we need to re-roll necessarily it might be nice to have it in our back pocket though uh next round the goat all spades are debuffed well we don't want to play them anyway so well although we probably have a lot in our deck at this point as well so that's actually kind of bad so i'm gonna i'm gonna take the chance i'm gonna re-roll the serpent after player discard always draw three cards might make it that might put the squeeze on us later on but i'm glad we re-rolled uh and yeah here we can play because the skip prize is lame so uh we want to get rid of at least this there we go okay oh hey that might be a better pair actually king no i'm gonna leave this as is so play the hand there we go two pair this is probably enough to get through anti-8 quite honestly but okay we need to throw away some of this some of this like heart crap uh heart and diamond junk um ooh, okay all right ace ace 10 10 that leaves everything else good and this will even score if we play it because of splash so yeah hot hand right there very nice okay excellent okay blackboard and card shark maybe not doing as much like of a of a tractor pull for the whole run as i would appreciate but it's going to get us where we need to i think i feel pretty confident uh, turn something into a glass card. Is there anything we want to turn into? You know what? How about this five over here? Pulling absolutely zero weight in a club spade build. Let's turn it into... Wait. Molt cards? No, we need to be eliminating diamonds and hearts from the deck where possible. And here we got five choices. High Priestess, create two planets, double our money again. Um... Hermit money. I don't know. Having hermit money is kind of nice. A few rerolls might not be so bad. Death is good to take on in case we have a steel card in hand. We have used a lot of tarot's. Maybe not enough to justify. Okay. This is actually. This is actually probably a better call because this is a plus 10 for something conditional. And this is a plus one for something we've already done. So that is a trade up. And also, we're only having to rely on pairs at this point, I think. No, we got rid of that, too. It doesn't even matter if we play pairs at this point. Where did it all go? Oh, our pair advantage is disappearing. <gasps> um, I'm telling mom, reroll. No, that is a garbage reroll. Why would I? Mm, yeah. You never know. You never know when you're going to need a high card to save your ass. So, I don't know. Let's take it and move on. All right. We got lots of pairs in hand here. Pairs ahoy. And even one that I would want to have in hand. 7-7. Uh, seven, seven. Don't care about having the money. Just want to make sure blackboard hits. There we go. Go up to the blackboard. Write those names down, sucker. Uh, This is not actually great. Let's go ahead and get rid of... Let's keep this because it will score on a two pair. Better. Okay, thank you. Very much. That should be... Hmm. No, we don't want to turn something into a steel tin just yet. I don't think... I don't think we're quite at that point. Okay, yeah. We're making it through the, the blinds of Anti-7 with pretty minimal effort on a Mega Spectrum. Never going to say no to that if I can afford it. What weird thing is that going to do to us? Destroy one random card in hand. Converts all cards to a single suit. Ugh, 
I don't like the 50-50 odds on that. Creates a random rare joker, sets money to zero, converts all cards in hand to a single rank. Minus one hand size. These are all pretty dookie. I'm going to go with at least this and be extremely mad and need to get up and walk around and pace it off if it destroys one of my steel cards. All right, then that's fine. Enhanced Ace is great. Uh, just sad that one of them is gold. I don't want to take the shot on this. That could end up being very scary for our spade club thing. Okay, um, this seems pretty simple, I would think. Play those, well, yeah, either play them or leave them in hand, no matter what they're doing good. Okay, time to get down with the serpentine love. Let's go. This is hot garbo. Uh, can we get... Four of a kind is not two pair game. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Um, although the fact that I have five aces in hand, supremely funny right now. And I'm kind of tempted to see what the chip count does. Wow. Five of a kind, even at level one. Wow. That shit rips. Okay. Um, well, how about let's just at least try to get a pair of some kind going here there we go that's much better uh jack jack nine nine ten and that leaves all the spades and clubs in hand there we go okay that's one okay now now it's easier to get rid of stuff out of our hand and we can play something fun like these there we go two pair and that well i don't know if that will get us out of the round actually Oh, yeah, it did. Handily. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right. This is our this is our chance. Tarot cards appearing four times more frequently. Tarot Tycoon. The Tarot Tycoon from Texas. I'm drilling oil to make a tarot deck company. Let's see. Full house, not bad, but we do need to lean in on on that while we have the chance high card i think three of a kind also is kind of okay to go with at this point as a minor backup and then why not a jolly joker try to make a comeback don't call it a comeback yeah there we go now it's making us chips also and look at that effect it's actually black ish dark blue whatever it is that is that is one beautiful blackboard. Let's go on. What do we got? Amber Acorn flips and shuffles all your jokers. Now that is going to be important. We're going to have to pay attention to which ones go times three and put them at the end. Otherwise, I don't think it matters that much. Next joker is free and becomes negative. Why not? Why not add another joker? Let's do it up. Rerolls and next shop start at zero. No, I think we're just going to go as is, but I think barring any mega catastrophes we've got this one we can seal the deal on this one and why not well i know why not play another queen because it would turn it into a full house and we don't want that so okay yeah play the hand two pair getting 100 base chips absolutely loving it that foiling wow i tell you um wheel of fortune could not have hit at a better time i don't think Let's try to get rid of low stuff out of hand, maybe. Maybe do a... That's a pretty judicious discard. 10 is not the pair I would want in hand. But I think this two pair will do it. And we still... I'd rather have the steel in hand than the gold. When it comes down to it. And in fact... Well, hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Um, This is a tit. This is a heart. We're going for the 7-2 pair. So then why not just sweeten the pot? There we go. All right. 7-7-2-2. Seven, seven, two, two. And throw in that queen because it will score. So we're looking good. We got a lot. We've got a lot of bases covered here. And I really like what's happening. With this. Uh, it's, it's not going to be like a get to Annie 13 kind of thing. Play cards with the heart suit. Give a mole. So, how many hearts do we have left in the deck? Exactly seven. But this is a negative joker. And 
just in case we get one of those hearts as part of a pair, it does incentivize us it incentivize us la, 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 to play it. La 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 la. Okay. One last two pair level up before the boss. And then what have we got here? Maybe something cool like Uranus. Okay, another one. Wasn't expecting that. But the more tarot's we play, the better fortune teller. Better off fortune teller is. I kind of want to... Yeah, let's see what we've got. Oh, yes. That could be a nice little 11th hour play right there. And it will molt fortune teller even more. So going into this, the only thing we need to be concerned about is where our blackboard and card sharp going to end up. So watch the scores when they get tabbed up. Look for where your times threes are. They're both times threes, so they'll go to the right. Um, And then... And then really just leave everything else alone. Just think about where your times threes are. Okay, here we go. This is a pretty, this is a pretty benign. Uh, this is one of the more benign ones we could have got all told. Oh, that's a three. That's not a two. I thought it was a three for a second. Let's go ahead and ditch kind of some of our low pairs. Ace, nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, discard. Okay, 10. I hate to I hate to kind of use it, but it is a pair. Uh, I'm going to ditch 9 and 8 and hope I don't get garbage. Okay, good. That prevents me from having to use that. King. Well, if I want everything in hand, I have to I have to do it. So, I'm going to do it just to see well. Hold up, wait a minute. Uh, is there something I can leave in hand if I turn it steel? Is there something that would be smart to leave in hand? I'm going to go ahead... Well, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and sit on this five. Okay, there's Fortune Teller right there. That's the second card in line. We just saw it go off as a result of using a tarot i really hate to use the 10 for my pair but since i have a steel card in hand it's fine i think i'm gonna run with it okay turned out not being so bad after all so where are our times threes okay i think they're right here i think they're pretty much close to the end anyway unless i miss saw that Miss Sod, the word of the day. Uh, Ace, I've got one discard left and two pairs. Yeah, both. I can play this for the high and then go... Yeah, run with this again. Oh, the times three is right over here. But it turned out to not matter. There we go. We won with yellow deck. Hooray. Yellow mellowed out significantly from last time. Uh, let's see how far we can get with this, I think. So yeah, ended up being, okay, here's this right here. Yeah, Fortune Teller was not too far. In fact, everything was pretty much more or less exactly where I would want it to be. Uh, it didn't do actually a lot of shuffling. That's not a card you want to add to your deck. Let's see how much farther we can keep this going. Destroy one random card in hand, add three enhanced face cards. Um... I'm going to be mad if it takes out my Steel King. Okay, well, then I'm not mad. Adds to hand the number of times, or adds the number of times the hand has been played to the Molt. <coughs> that one's nice because it scales. Even in the late game, it retroactively reads whatever. Oh, now this is funny. We could go back and play another boss blind if we wanted in fact, that's kind of an amusing conceit. I feel like... Oh, hey. Um, turn this into... Yeah, let's turn as much steel as we can, actually. You know what? This is funny. I'm just going to do this for pure comedy value. We've already won the run, so let's go back and play another... Another blind... Oh, it doesn't give us an actual boss boss, though. That That's interesting. I thought it would give us another, like... Violet Vessel or Cerulean Bell type wine. Nope, you're just playing 
a non super final boss anti eight. That is very bizarre indeed. Take that and that and that and a little of that and some of these. There we go. We want this actually switched a little bit. Um, queen discard for a better pair. Discard for a better anything, please. Uh, wow. Discard for just nothing but that kind of trash. That's cool. Uh, king, king, seven. Yeah, there we go. All right. Fabulous. Yeah, making it out of the small blind still pretty easily. Uh, we can kind of pump this up a little bit before we go into the into the big game uh and we're but we are running out of money however so this is probably going to be our last big spending spree king of spades goes in the deck extra twos go into the deck there we go a spectral pack convert everything to a single random rank or add a purple seal to something in your hand well, we will want to discard crap like this, so we want to give it a purple seal. Why not get the tarot? Why not get the multiplier? Nope. But it's still, even if it's a nope, it still pumps fortune teller. That's what's nice about that. Okay. Ooh, okay. Sitting on enough that I think we can even... How's my, how's my flush looking as a... I have not leveled flush at all. It would even suit me more to play high card. Well, we could play, is there a three of a kind? There's not. This is weirdly unideal on many levels. So I'm gonna try to get something. Hey, there we go. Three steel cards, don't mind if I do. Two pair, it still counts. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, there we go. So now that we have a lot of steel in the deck, it's getting hot, it's getting there we go uh queen with a six six and a club and everything and the hey 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 and the yeah 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 all right let's set this building on fire we're just gonna go until we're done another wheel of fortune i uh, don't mind if i do it's already popped off once so that is the acceptable standard for what you want out of a thing like this now this is interesting if we play something like this we get a huge multiplier and if it breaks, we don't have to worry about it anymore. So I'm actually gonna take a glass king of hearts because once you start getting to these heights, the multipliers are what you need. Okay, so as a steel joker, this is going to do nothing. So we need to kind of keep, I'm gonna go ahead. I don't know why I'm so attached to it anyway, but no, these are not, these are not, I'm, you need to play the hits game and, and that right quickly. Uh, so we can see, here we go. Discard, create a tarot, get some free money. Joker sell value, fantastic. See, here we go. This is exactly what I was talking about with this. Uh, that should leave pretty much everything else in hand. We've got at least one steel card, so it's gonna look really nice. All right. It did not break. We can use it again. It can still make julienne fries. So... Again, we've got a steel, a comfy steel card in hand. And for stuff that's actually scoring, let's go ahead and take this. Take this and some of these and a few of these apples. And there we are. Now we are back at anti nine proper with the potential for plus one hand size. I do believe I'll take it. The easier you can facilitate pairs, the better. Three of a kind, starting to look mildly sexy. Uh, Reroll, please. Mercury, okay, level up our base pair. Should it come down to that, which I hope it doesn't. <laughs> yes, oh, ooh. Look at all the foiling, oh my gosh. And they don't even Pringle like magic cards. Let's go on. Let's go on to, next up is the Flint. That might hurt, but I think we can get through it with our build. I think things are looking pretty, pretty beautiful. Smooth sailing through calm seas at this point. Uh, we've got pretty good pairs here where I feel like we can get rid of some of this garbo. Okay, yeah, and just toss this right out as well. 
Um, we've got a 10 pair, so that's pretty solid. I just want... I just want things that are not diamonds in hand, essentially. Um, ace, ace. So ace is going to be the pair that we want to play. And we will just turn... Do we want to turn a 10 of club diamonds into a three of clubs? Actually, I feel like weirdly we kind of do. Let's go ahead and play these, this nice array of cards. Two still scores and gets the molt. I love that about splash. Nothing like a little splash of ocean water to make your day go a little brighter. Um, King, King is still going to get the multiplier, even if it scores. So I hate that we're not going to get a steel card to keep in hand, but that, wow, that ended up kind of being a good move. I'm weirdly, that's very weird that that ended up being a good play, turning a 10 of diamonds into a three of clubs. Uh, wonders never cease. Let's go ahead and buy this just to be able to pump fortune teller that much more. Oh, yeah, we need to be turning things, turning, turning things into spades. Wheels keep on turning. How many hearts do we have in the deck at this point? Well, we've added a few cards. I think we're net. We have a net gain of one heart from the last time we checked. OK, this encourages us to play it because of the high chip count. So I'll take it. Um, No, no sense in a reroll. We don't have that much money. Adds a voucher to the next shop. I mean, we've done we've done pretty hot for vouchers, no matter what. Basically, uh, let's take, let's discard this. Wow, uh, did I just get way more cards in hand? I that was bizarre. I kind of feel like playing the straight, weirdly enough, but no, that's five cards, and it wouldn't get rid of this. So. Let's see, 10, 10, 3, 3, that's our, I don't care about making money. I just want to have spades and clubs left over in hand. So that counts as leaving a spade or a club in hand, I think it's any suit. So ace, ace, 3, 3, and we get our, you know, our lovely, no, no, we have to play the 10, sorry. Uh, and we get our, well, no, we don't get any special benefit from playing that 10. Okay, good, good to start, good to start, hot to trot. And then I think what we want to do is play 7766 six pair, splash in the eight for extra chips. Fantastic. Okay, anti nine, probably going to be put down pretty easily. Every time a playing card is added to your deck, well, that would have come in a lot handy, er, a lot early, er. Standard, we want to add maybe this for the discard tarot potential, actually, yes. And then any arcana that we can use immediately. Fool is the world, so, Zawurdo. Oh, that just makes a, oh, well, okay. Well, you know, it'll come in handy whether I use it now or whether... Okay. So, next up. The Flint. Things are cut in half, but... That should not be too terrible a thing to surmount, even for our formidable two-pair build. Um, I don't want to turn things just yet. I want to play this if I can. Let's discard for this. We've already got a good pair in hand. And we can start running it. There we go. Okay, yeah. Start running. Okay, still 70 base chips. That's enough to get through anti-9 with hands like this. Although, ugh, the, the flint can be a nasty mistress at times. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn everything in hand into spades so that it's fine to leave in hand. X, the lint day. Muy caliente. Uh, the hand's so hot that it turns me Spanish all of a sudden. Here we go. 
I think we might make it out of here with this even. Yeah, not a fire hand, but got us out in two. And against the flint on anti nine, not so bad. Retrigger all put. Wow. Okay. It's spectral time, baby. Ectoplasm. Add negative to. <gasps> Ooh. A late game legendary joker. What does that even do for us? We got to have room. Hmm. I'm kind of interested to see what happens. I don't get legendary jokers every day. So when you see one, you got to see what it has to offer. Disables every boss blind. So every hand from here on out is just going to be normal. So it doesn't matter if we reroll boss blinds. Let's just open the spectral pack. Ectoplasm. Add negative to a random joker. Wouldn't it be funny if it negatived our legendary? Is that possible? I have never seen that. It can do it. <gasps> you can <get> multiple legendaries. <gasps> That's too much power for one man, I think. All right, let's go. Uh, next edition is free and becomes foil. Next one is free and becomes polychrome. Let's see if we can get an eighth Joker in our hand. I mean, well, we can anyway. We don't need to be skipping hands to do it. 560,000 is what we have to make here. The question is, can it be done? I think, I think it can. If we are judicious, let's go ahead and use our magician. I don't want to be tossing out stuff like that. And if I have one card, um, if I have one card left in hand that I would splash in, I'm going to make it the glass king here. So I've got seven, seven, I've got one pair. Did I accidentally get rid of something I shouldn't have? I feel like I had a pair going. That would have been good. Okay, King King, here we go, here we go. King King, 7-7, seven, seven, and splash in maybe the Lucky Ace for good measure. Okay. And... Two eights, two jacks. Perfect. And we don't really have to unload much else out of hand. So bonus chips from the queen. All right. Mmm. Mmm. That scales fast, though, and we only have one hand left. So I don't think we're going to get to see the big blind. But I think this was pretty successful anyway. Let's just... We don't want to get rid of this. We don't want to get rid of this. And maybe not the jack either, depending on if we get a pair. How many jacks we got left in this deck? Like three? Maybe we do. Well, no. Yeah, no. Yeah. 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 Okay. I feel a lot better about that now. Nine, nine, ace, ace, six. I don't think this is going to get us there, quite frankly, but... Yeah, yeah, we petered out right at anti-10, which is where I think a build like this kind of does see its last legs. But we did it. We did it. We beat yellow deck on white stake. So next time we will move on to what I believe is the green deck, which is a little bit of a different money-oriented deck, uh, more centered around interest. Hey, buy a total of 20 playing cards from the shop. Gives us playing cards in shop may have an enhancement, addition, or a seal. Okay. Okay, something to think about. But yeah, next time we will move on to the green deck. We don't earn any interest, but we get a lot more money off of remaining hands and discards. So until next time, this has been Round the Wheel, and may all your jokers be negative.